hey guys welcome to my channel this is devraj roy and today i'm basically going to be showing you guys a look into my editing workflow over here so as because this is quarantine so i could not go out to shoot i just went to my garden click a couple of pictures of a bit of flowers and uh, leaves so i'm going to be editing a picture of a leaf over here which is heavily means in the image the green tones are majority so basically the type of edit that i'm going to be doing is a uh, it's dark and moody green edits so let's jump into the computer so first of all uh, i'm gonna change the exposure i'm gonna go positive 50 i'm gonna add contrast to positive 10 highlights i'm gonna increase a bit that one looks good i'm gonna add sh reduce shadows to 30 35 is about right and i'm gonna add whites plus 10 and max 2 okay looks good to me add a bit of more contrast so in presence uh, i'm gonna add texture it's 50 looks good and 20 about 20 over here and the haze plus 10 it's looking good very punchy now so the first step that i'm gonna be doing to make the image look a bit Dark and moody is reduce the saturation. That is basically my style. I'm gonna go down to negative 35. Looks good. And I'm gonna reduce the vibrance to negative 5. So here only you can see there is a huge difference from when we started to here. And now let's move into the tone curve. And first, let's get rid. Let's get to the RGB channel now. I'm gonna make the image a bit flat and muted. I'm gonna uplift the blacks and pull the highlights down. So let's add a bit of contrast. So I'm going for a simple S curve over here. And I'm gonna add highlights. about looks right now I'm going to pull the highlights it's looking good I'm gonna increase the exposure a bit more no it's okay over here only now one thing I'm gonna do is add a highlights and also that's looking good now so first of all I'm gonna go to the red channel Add a bit of warmth to the shadows. I'm gonna make very subtle changes over here. Very subtle. Not much. This looks good to me. Go to the green channel. Right. And introduce a bit of blues to the shadows and. good to me let's move to the hsl and first i'm gonna go for a bit wintry dark and moody style so i'm gonna change the hue to positive 55 or maybe 65 it looks awful right now but believe me once you pull down the saturation this is gonna look way better so i'm gonna go minus 70 let's see it's way better now maybe reduce the hue a bit but 50 looks good Convince a bit, maybe warmth, add a bit warmth to the temperature and just a bit greener tint to it. That looks way better now. And we're gonna just remove the split toning, we don't need to do it much in this image. And I'm gonna add sharpening 105. And you're gonna press alt in your keyboard and mask it so that only the edges get sharpened and no noise is introduced in your image. I'm gonna introduce noise reduction, luminous to 61, and add details 80. Looks good. Remove probiotic aberrations, enable profile corrections. The vignetting to 96. Looks good to me. And 
I'm gonna add a bit of vignetting now. Let's go to the post for vignette and now this looks good. Reduce the midpoint. Reduce the roundness. Add feather to it. One thing I'm gonna do is reduce the highlights a bit more for this. Whites because this area is a bit. I'm reducing the exposure also so after editing the whole image you get an idea and you make tweaks a little bit here and there so now I think the image is almost complete we are gonna go to the camera calibration make the tint to negative 5 I'm gonna make the hue primary Let's see to negative 10 this is saturation now. Green primary to positive six reduce saturation. And blue primary to positive ten and reduce the saturation. So here yeah, it's almost done. I think I'm gonna add a bit more vignetting to it, maybe. Let's go to here. Use the vignetting. It's way more dark now. I'll add a bit more. That's okay. I'm spotting. Good. Just gonna change the roundness to make it a bit more square. Use the purple looks good. And now let's go to the radial filter. And add a filter over here. Increase the exposure a bit. No, I'm gonna first invert it. Yeah. Reduce the highlights a bit. to me voila maybe it's a bit too much this the feather let's see the mask 10 looks good and yes that's all for today please like comment share and all the things that you know to do so see you next time till then Thank you.